Hello again. It's Monday, September 5th, 2022. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. Country music star Ray Scott and his associated guitarist Joe Cook put on a whale of a show on Saturday night at the Jackson River Sports Complex. Scott's complete performance is now on the Allegheny Journal's YouTube channel. Earlier in the evening, the one-take band from Lynchburg delighted the crowd with an array of 80s and 90s classic tunes. Area music fans are familiar with the band, which has played in the Covington area several times previously. The Covington Cougars tied the score at 7-all early in the second quarter of Friday night's game against the Stanton Storm. But soon thereafter, storm clouds rained down upon Covington High School squad, resulting in a 40-7 loss. There are many photos and loads of video game clips now on AlleghenyJournal.com. Allegheny High School easily won its contest against Bath County 54-13 at Bath County. And now a word from our sponsor. The annual Nicely Town Picnic and Gospel Sing event was well attended and three area gospel groups entertained the crowd Saturday night at the Lone Star Advent Christian Church. The announcers, the Joyful Praise Trio, and Milk and Honey sang several selections during the evening. Donations were also received to benefit the Matt Bowser Leukemia Fund. Some editor snippets here. The annual Labor Day Parade will be held in downtown Covington at 3 p.m. today, with many neat events happening after it at the Jackson River Sports Complex. There will be music, activities for the kids, food vendors, and then at dusk, a nice fireworks display. Don't forget that this Friday will be the final Brackman Cup game between Covington High School and Allegheny High School, set for Mountaineer Field at 7 p.m. A big all-cult weekend is being planned for Allegheny High School alumni 1964 to 1984. A golf tourney is set Saturday and a reunion will be held Saturday evening at the Jackson River Sports Complex. And we'll be right back. And now for regional obituaries. Alma Watts, 96, formerly of Covington, died Thursday. Becky Miles, 74, of Lexington, died August 28th. Jacob Harless, 71, of Covington, died Friday. John Kern, of Michigan, died August 31st. Carter Wickline, 17, of Clifton Forge, died Saturday. Molly Clark, 90, of Millboro, died Sunday and Peggy O'Neill, 65 of Fairley, died Sunday. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. And let's check out the local weather forecast. On Tuesday, it should be mostly cloudy with showers and a chance of thunderstorms, high of 83 and a low of 68. On Wednesday, partly cloudy, with showers and isolated thunderstorms, high of 78 and a low of 66. And on Thursday, partly cloudy with rain showers, high of 81 and a low of 64 degrees. 
And that's the way it is on Monday, September 5th, 2022. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV. Pre-planning a funeral presents a loving and considered gift to your family. Making decisions now provide a framework for future choices. We invite you to stop by the funeral home. Let us answer any questions you may have about pre-funding or pre-arranging a funeral service.